I've made this machine that paints people's pictures. You've got a camera and a screen which you use to take a photo and then you just press paint and five minutes later you've got yourself a watercolour painting. The 20 frames per second video is really impressive for an Arduino. I didn't write the code for it. The Arduino basically shuttles pixels from the camera to the screen and to take a picture you press a button which freezes it. Two stepper motors drive the brush up and down and left and right, but the stepper motors are blind. So to find out where the brush is, we've got these limit switches and we drive the brush up to the limit switches so the machine knows the position of the brush. A servo motor pushes the brush into the page and lifts it up. There's also a little spring. Uh, the spring always tries to pull the brush upwards and that means that the gears are always engaged. So the movement of the servo is nice and precise. The brush mechanism folds away, which means you can put the lid on, which makes it all look nice and neat. There's dowels in the lid and magnets in the box to attract the dowels and hold everything together. I got the wooden base plate laser cut, which meant I could also get some, some laser engraving done, pretty cool feature. I also made these little uh, paper clamps, which I did by reverse engineering some clothes pegs. Each line that the brush draws represents a row of pixels from the screen. As the brush moves along the row, if it's a darker pixel, then it presses down the brush harder and draws a thicker line. When I first got the machine working, it was painting pictures like this, where you can't see any of the detail. This is my right hand, so you should be able to make out fingers. To fix it, I needed to increase the contrast. To increase the contrast, I used an approach called histogram equalization. In the top graph, you can see that all the pixels in the image are a similar shade of gray. The darkest pixels are a medium gray and the lightest pixels are a slightly lighter medium gray. What the histogram equalization does is spread out the pixels to make sure that they occupy the full color range, the full range of shade, so that the darkest pixels are black and the lightest pixels are white. When I included the histogram equalization in the code, you can see that there was a dramatic improvement and I started to get some decent images. Thanks for watching. I should make another video in about a year's time, so make sure to subscribe for that.